good afternoon everyone uh, you buy this month's yojana skill development mein shayad i'll be having a class on yojana one class every month we will be having on yojana that is the usme se questions usme se current affairs kya kya karna hai prelims ke liye kya yaad rakhna hai mains ke liye kya yaad rakhna hai for the monthly yojana but the only thing is i'll combine both the batches while taking the class that is दिस कुरुक्षेत्र जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल नहीं है तो इतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल कुरुक्षेत्र इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जी एस एक हाथ दो स्कीम आती है प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सिंचाई योजना और रूरल डेवलपमेंट उतना तो जीएस में ही कवर हो जाता है इफ यू आर रीडिंग कुरुक्षेत्र मुझे तो लग रहा है टाइम वेस्ट है कुरुक्षेत्र रीड करना सो डोंट फोकस टू मच ऑन कुरुक्षेत्र August, August. For example, if you see Kurukshetra, ये है August का. इसमें एक जो topic important है वो है भारत माला. वो वैसे ही हम transport में करेंगे भारत माला परियोजना. Then PM witnesses witness experience sharing by beneficiaries of welfare scheme. कोई जरूरत नहीं इसकी. Linking farmers to Enam. ये agriculture में ही cover होगा. प्रधान मंत्री आवास योजना शायद आपके current में ही cover हुआ ये. Then Ayushman Bharat National Health Protection Mission, that is the National Nutrition Mission governance ka topic hai, governance mein cover hoga. Transforming drinking water infrastructure, not necessary for GS, ke drinking water pe hi ek itna bada question a gaya. It will come on drinking water, you will have to identify kya issues hai drinking water pe and ek line likhna padega that how will you will transform. Uske liye itne bada article karne ki zarurat nahi. स्वच्छ सुरक्षा ग्रामीण सर्वेक्षा ग्रामीण दैट इज एन सर्वे ऑफ द स्वच्छ भारत योजना फिर कम्युनिटी सैनिटरी कॉम्प्लेक्सेस टॉयलेट्स एक्सेट्रा हाउ सिक्किम इज इंश्योरिंग ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग तो हम ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग टॉपिक करेंगे उसके ऊपर सिक्किम के ऊपर इतना फोकस करने की जरूरत नहीं अनलेस जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल है तो कि द वॉट डू मीन बाय देखो जी में क्वेश्चन आएगा हाउ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इज गोइंग टू बेनिफिट और what is organic farming and what are the challenges and issues of organic farming optional mein question aayega what are the challenges and issues of organic farming right with special reference to sikkim why right with special reference to malwa plateau right with special reference to maharashtra plateau koi bhi ek area aa sakta hai fir ek topic hai youth as a agent of change so you can write on your own यूथ एज एन एजेंट ऑफ चेंज हम ये करेंगे पॉपुलेशन जोग्राफी में डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट की जब हम बात करेंगे दैट इज हाउ यूथ कैन बी द एजेंट्स ऑफ चेंज लाइटनिंग बिलियन लाइफ नाउ इसमें से जो इंपॉर्टेंट है इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन उसके ऊपर एक योजना में आर्टिकल आ गया दैट इज मोर देन इनफ सो एंड इफ यू रीड कुरुक्षेत्र अगेन अगले महीने के भी उसमें से कुछ टॉपिक्स कॉमन होंगे बिकॉज दिस इज फॉर ओनली रूरल डेवलपमेंट दिस इज नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन यूर एग्जाम it is a magazine of ministry of rural development which is talking about the rural developments that is occurring in india isme se kya lena hai kya nahi lena hai that we will do in the class itself but for us more important is yojana yojana mein bhi ek important hai the corner which comes in yojana one page that comes in yojana because pichle 3 saal se wahan se prelims ke mcqs aa rahe around 5 to 6 mcqs are coming from there and that are the mcqs jo na pib cover karta hai na koi bhi the classes cover karte so you should know and exactly as it is so what happened in 2017 ki everything came from the classes that is all the uh, notes were all the questions aise lag raha tha ki ye pada hua hai classes mein cover kiya hai jo bhi notes available hai market mein but kya nahi tha usme jo fact jo classes ne miss kiya tha wo fact exam mein pucha tha so if uh, you are reading some current affairs they have given you three points सो so, वही सब मार्केट में फैला हुआ है ये थ्री पॉइंट्स यूपीएससी पी एस यू द फोर्थ पॉइंट सो यू न्यू द ये ये तो मैंने स्कीम पढ़ी है आंसर नहीं पता था एग्जैक्टली exactly इसमें आंसर क्या सो दैट केम डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द योजना सो दिस इज सितंबर योजना सो वी वी वांट इससे पहले वाला योजना स्किल डेवलपमेंट सोशल एम्पावरमेंट सोशल एम्पावरमेंट we'll cover that in the class
So, these are the three kinds of the things we have done that is the block disintegration, granular disintegration and exfoliation. Exfoliation peeling like an onion, it will occur even in the desert regions and it will also occur in the monsoon regions. Desert regions may because daily change in the temperature, monsoon regions may because of heavy rainfall after high heat. So, rocks are in the expanded state and suddenly after the rainfall they contract resulting into exfoliation. And then the next kind of an physical weathering is hydration. Hydration can also, do not write hydration Abhi, we will write hydration in the chemical weathering because it is a mixture of both chemical and physical weathering. By say in simple words hydration matlab kya? Addition of water. So, with the addition of water the rocks will drink water and because the rocks will drink water it will they will expand and when they will expand there is there will be cracks which are formed in the rocks because of an expansion and usko hum kahenge the mixture of chemical weathering why because the rocks are drinking the water, physical weathering why because the rocks after drinking the water they break and therefore, it is a mixture of chemical and physical weathering, but it is given in the books in the chemical weathering. So, I will <coughs> add over there. unloading and expansion, unloading and expansion. Suppose this is an landform and this landform upper mountain and niche rock hai. But this landform has been reduced Q due to mining activity, human mining activity or this landform has been reduced for maybe construction of roads. We are constructing roads here and thus we reduce the landform. So, what will happen is ke, this part of the landform, uske niche ka, this landform which is their rocks, they will experience release of pressure and because they experience release of pressure they will expand. When they expand the crack will be developed in the rock and over, <coughs> over the period of time this crack may be enlarged. So, such kind of an weathering which is caused due to removal of super incumbent load. I have introduced you the word super incumbent matlab top load is what is known as unloading and expansion. Unloading and expansion over the period of time agar rainfall zyada ho gaya to water will go through the cracks and when the water goes through the cracks the entire land will slide down due to the due to the lubricating action of the water and therefore, this is how we cause landslides. That is initially hume pata nahi lagta that we are breaking the rocks, but we create cracks in the rocks and after creating of the cracks in the rocks, water may seep through the cracks. After seeping through the cracks, the entire landform may move. So, what happened in the Uttarakhand is this, unloading and expansion ya Uttarakhand mein second tha ek artificial loading also. Artificial loading this was a temple, but uske aas paas there was construction of hotels, buildings and therefore, there was an artificial load introduced. Due to the artificial load over the period of time mixture ho gaya river erosion ka and weathering ka and uske baad there was a landslide. But wo hum karenge as a separate topic, you just write down the technical definition of unloading and expansion. Landslide, landslide near Pune on the western guards. So, that is an example, we will do the landslides today. So, unloading and expansion, this is caused due to the, this is caused due to, this is caused due to removal of super incumbent load, this is caused due to removal of super incumbent load. cost due to the removal of super incumbent load. Due to unloading, due to unloading rocks, due to unloading rocks experience 
experience positive change in the volume due to expansion positive change in the volume due to expansion rocks experience positive change in the due to unloading so due to unloading rocks experience positive change in the volume positive change in the volume due to expansion due to expansion and cracks and cracks develop underline this word horizontal to the ground surface Cro cracks develop horizontal develop horizontal to the ground surface cracks develop horizontal to the ground surface thus weakening the rocks thus weakening the rocks which may which may trigger landslides which may trigger landslides weakening the rocks which may trigger landslides which may trigger landslides weakening the rocks which may trigger landslides trigger cause the instant jo hota hai for example rocks already weak hai but earthquake will trigger landslide so earthquake is a trigger mechanism jisse hota hai there is a heavy rainfall already rocks are weak uttarakhand mein but 13 july ko heavy rainfall hua and uske baad tragedy so triggering mechanism was heavy rainfall jisko hum kahenge cloud burst so this is what is a trigger mechanism example ye already is building ka structure weak hai for example if this building ka structure is already weak then there will be a trigger mechanism in the terms of land uh, the earthquakes and then this entire building may collapse so this is what is known as a trigger mechanism waise nahi hai is building ka structure weak yes that is earthquakes dam induced earthquakes example is maharashtra 3500 dams in maharashtra and the future may earthquakes therefore there was a madhav gadgil ka report also he said that kerala jaisa tragedy is going to happen in maharashtra and goa who was madhav who is madhav gadgil he is an environmentalist jiske upar government ne committee banayi thi madhav gadgil committee to give the status to western guards and he had recommended giving the ecologically sensitive zone yes status to western guards so hame padhna hai kya hai eco sensitive zone kaun se act ke andar but that will come later on so unloading and expansion mein kaise crack hota hai horizontal shattering where do you use this word shattering we use in glass glass shatters glass breaks why we say glass shatters because jab bhi glass break hota hai it breaks into the sharp fragments kyu hai sharp fragments kyunki unko different angles hai agar fragments are angular then only they can be the sharp this is what is a sharp fragment this can be the sharp fragment similarly if there is an individual rock and this individual rock due to sudden change in the temperature may break in angles so ye part may be break ho gaya of an individual rock aur ye part break ho ke gir gaya so we will call this process as an shattering understood shattering mein kya dekho sab hai tootna the only thing is we human beings for making our job simple agar wo bade blocks mein toot gaya we call this as an block disintegration if it breaks into small grains we call this as an granular disintegration if it breaks into the layers we call it as an exfoliation if it breaks into the horizontal manner we call this as an unlo unloading and expansion on other hand if it breaks breaks into angular fragments which are sharp we will call this as an shattering रॉक को पता नहीं हो कैसे ब्रेक होने वाला है 
it is we human beings who have made our job complicated by giving it a different names angular fragments ea xyz so shattering this kind of weathering is common in this kind of weathering is common in arid and semi arid regions is common in arid and semi arid regions arid and semi arid regions where rock where rock breaks in angular fragments where the rock breaks in angular fragments where the rocks break in angular fragments due to sudden change in the temperature due to sudden change in the temperature due to sudden change in the temperature example hot temperature during the day time hot temperature during the day time followed by evening thunder storm followed by evening thunder storm chemical weathering very simple decomposition of the rocks you can take down the definition decomposition of the rocks decomposition of the rocks in situ in situ due to combined action of water and minerals due to combined action of water and minerals due to combined action of water and minerals is known as chemical weathering due to combined action of waters and minerals is known as chemical weathering full stop generally generally calcium calcium or limestone rich rocks are subjected to chemical weathering are subjected to chemical weathering you already know chemical weathering is common in tropical regions and the subtropical regions that is the hot and humid jahan pe climate hai wahan pe chemical weathering will be very common so that is tropical and the subtropical region and the types of the chemical weathering again you are comfortable with this word solution kya hoga solution when the minerals get dissolved in water the rocks is containing many minerals some of the minerals are soluble in water so the those minerals get dissolved in water and water then carries it over the period of time when they mix with water we call them as a solution if you are confused take an example you take a mixture of salt and iron dust what will get dissolved in water salt iron dust will settle down as a precipitate or iron dust will remain as it is but the water will get the salt will get dissolved in water so similarly rocks may be different types of minerals hai some of the minerals are more easily soluble in water some of them are not easily soluble so when they are easily soluble in water solution if the minerals are made up of calcium and limestone and they are easily soluble in water carbonation a kind of an solution but only of limestone rich rocks understanding this if there is oxides different oxygen hai minerals iron hai rock mein it will react with the water in the atmosphere and uske baad wo rusting ho jayega sad jayega kyu 
क्योंकि ऑक्सीडेशन सी वाई पीपल डोंट प्रिफर टू लिव नियर द कैनाल्स या न्यू लिव नियर द बिल्ड नियर द बिल्डिंग्स यहाँ पे बहुत ज़्यादा पानी है स्पेशली इन द ड्राई क्लाइमेट लाइक दिल्ली मुंबई में इतना फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बिकॉज चॉइस नहीं है ह्यूमिडिटी है सब जगह बट दिल्ली में यू डो नॉट लाइक टू स्टे देयर बिकॉज ऑक्सीडेशन इज मोस्ट डोमिनेंट इन इंडिया आपके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स सड़ जाएंगे योर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स विल बिकम विल विल रस्ट वेरी सुन सो वॉट हैपन सम ईयर्स बैक बिफोर दैट इज वाई सोनी इज नॉट दैट पॉपुलर इन इंडिया वाई मेनी ऑफ द बिग कंपनीज हु केम इन इंडिया कुड नॉट सर्वाइव मच बट आई बॉल कुड सर्वाइव क्योंकि आपको पता है सोनी लो या आई बॉल लो दोनों की लाइफ है तीन साल म्यूजिक का अगर बहुत ज्यादा शौक है तो ही यू विल इन्वेस्ट बहुत ज्यादा अदरवाइज सारा ये सड़ जाएगा तीन इसमें द रीजन इज ऑक्सीडेशन देन सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल हमारे इसमें जब भी हम ए सी लेने जाते हैं वेन यू विल गो टू बाय एन ए सी आपको बोलेगा कॉपर वायरिंग है कॉपर वायरिंग है वॉट इज दैट बिकॉज ऑक्सीडेशन कम हो जाएगा अगर नॉर्मल वायरिंग है तो ऑक्सीडेशन विल बी वेरी हाई थर्ड सी द प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन यू जस्ट गो नियर बाय हियर द देर इज अ मोती नगर का एरिया इन दिस मोती नगर का एरिया जनरली दिल्ली में यू डो नॉट हैव द अपार्टमेंट्स यू डो नॉट हैव सोसाइटीज गेटेड कम्युनिटीज इन दिस पार्ट एक तो द्वारका में है गुड़गांव में है या नोएडा में है बट इन सेंट्रल दिल्ली डी एल एफ कैपिटल ग्रीन्स करके एक अपार्टमेंट है विच इज वेरी मीनियर मोती नगर बट फ्लॉप प्रोजेक्ट इवन आफ्टर बींग इन दिल्ली द ओनली प्रोजेक्ट विच वॉज लॉन्च एट लेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर स्क्वायर फिट आज उसका रेट है फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज पर स्क्वायर फिट इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल नहीं तो ऐसे रियल इस्टेट में कभी नहीं होता कि रेट कम हो गया रेट शुड हैव बीन इनक्रीज वॉट इज द रीजन वाई इट हैज फ्लॉप्ड बिकॉज वहाँ से एक बहुत बड़ा कैनल पास होता है एंड दोज हुए पीपल हुए गॉन टू स्टे देयर विद इन टू एंड थ्री ईयर्स सब कुछ सड़ने लग रहा है especially why because why i'm telling you all this because we will be writing one statement that is the oxidation is the most common type of chemical weathering in monsoon type of climate understanding this why because we have heat and humidity and most of the metals which are there they will get rusted first write about solution i have written about solution so solution types of chemical weathering solution this is the dissolution this is the dissolution of minerals of minerals which are soluble in water which are soluble in water which are soluble in water next carbonation solution is not at all important more important is carbonation now before i go to carbonation you know the concept of acid rainfall i don't know whether i have asked you in this class you know the concept of acid rainfall kya hai acid rainfall <coughs> sulfur and nitrous oxides are mixed so normal rainfall jo hota hai is it acidic is it neutral is it basic What do you mean by acid? This ka pH is less than seven or six point five. What is neutral? Seven. And what is basic? This ka pH is greater than seven. So normal water should be neutral. So if there is an acid rainfall wala concept which is harmful, normal rainfall jo hota hai, wo acidic hai ya wo neutral hai ya basic hai? Normal rainfall. Normal rainfall is also acidic. Remember why? Because there is carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and the atmospheric carbon dioxide will react with the rainwater and make a weak acid known as carbonic acid. So normal rainfall is also acidic. हम कहते हैं acid rainfall when the pH falls below 3.5 because nitrous oxides and sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides and sulfur dioxides make the acid very strong acid. So it's fine. ये मोटो जी है इसको बहुत बार गिराया कुछ नहीं होता हैड दिस बिन आईफोन तो मैं टेंशन में आता
एबसेंट हो गए फंस गए सो कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक नॉर्मल रेनफॉल इज ऑल्सो एसिडिक रिमेंबर दिस वाई बिकॉज देर इज एन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन द एटमोस्फियर दिस नॉर्मल रेन वेन इट रिएक्ट विद द लाइम स्टोन रॉक्स वेन इट रिएक्ट विद द मार्बल रॉक्स इट विल डिजोल्व द रॉक्स विच आर रिच इन कैल्शियम और इन लाइम स्टोन एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ एन सोल्यूशन इज वॉट इज नोन एज एन कार्बोनेशन सो वॉट इज कार्बोनेशन नथिंग बट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ कार्बोनेट मिनरल्स द रॉक्स विच आर रिच इन लाइम स्टोन एंड कैल्शियम फाइन विद दिस सो यू कैन टेक डाउन कार्बोनेशन कार्बोनेशन इज द सोल्यूशन कार्बोनेशन इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ मिनरल्स ऑफ मिनरल्स ऑफ द रॉक्स ऑफ द रॉक्स विच आर रिच इन ऑफ द रॉक्स विच आर रिच इन कैल्शियम विच आर रिच इन कैल्शियम एंड लाइम स्टोन एंड लाइम स्टोन नॉर्मल रेनफॉल इज स्लाइटली एसिडिक इन नेचर नॉर्मल रेनफॉल इज स्लाइटली एसिडिक इन नेचर नॉर्मल रेनफॉल इज स्लाइटली एसिडिक इन नेचर दिस इज बिकॉज इज बिकॉज द रेन वॉटर द रेन वॉटर रिएक्ट्स विथ रिएक्ट्स विथ Atmospheric carbon dioxide reacts with atmospheric carbon dioxide to form a weak acid known as carbonic acid. Form a weak acid known as carbonic acid. This carbonic acid. this carbonic acid reacts with reacts with limestone and calcium minerals reacts with limestone and calcium minerals and such process is known as carbonation such process is known as carbonation see this is your past year question twice what is responsible for acid rainfall it can come even today thoda iska form of a question may change but what is responsible a b c जनरली हम पोल्यूशन में सब करेंगे नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड सल्फर ऑक्साइड आर ओनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड दिस विल मार्क एज एन बी ओनली एंड आंसर गलत हो गया बट रिमेंबर ए बी सी ऑल थ्री आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एसिड रेनफॉल द ओनली थिंग इज कि ये पोल्यूटेंट है एंड दिस इज द नॉर्मल रेनफॉल But ये तीनों आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एसिड रेनफॉल नाउ इफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इंक्रीजेस इन द एटमोस्फियर इट इज ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द हाई एसिड रेनफॉल इसीलिए इन द रियल लाइफ ऑल्सो एल्डर्स टेल टेल यू कि इवन इफ यू आर नॉट स्टेइंग इन द नॉन पोल्यूटेड सिटी एल्डर्स विल टेल यू कि पहले बारिश में मत भीगना Why is that? Because जितना भी कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है it is stronger and it will react with that rain and the rainfall will be acidic. उसके बाद the intensity of the acid rainfall will keep on decreasing. So remember, these are kind of a tricky questions and UPSC knows the common mistakes. इसलिए ये भी option रहेगा, ये भी रहेगा. So your answer is A, B, and C. third is oxidation oxidation
rocks which are rich in iron rocks which are rich in iron in equatorial and subtropical regions in equatorial and subtropical regions in the equatorial and the subtropical regions due to high heat and humidity due to high heat and humidity rusting occurs rusting occurs and this process is known as oxidation and this process is known as oxidation rusting occurs and this process is known as oxidation oxidation is responsible for reddish brown crust on the rocks oxidation is responsible for reddish brown crust ya yeah, covering on the rocks reddish brown covering on the rocks go and pick up any rock even in delhi today and you will see it is reddish in color thoda upar upar dhool lagi hogi ya yeah, brownish in color wo iske liye hai not because your soil ke karan it is an example of an oxidation common in the monsoon region now understand its application which part of india is rich in iron ore archean gneiss and schist so that is a peninsular india yeah that is the alluvial plains peninsular. peninsular india except the part of black cotton soil so this is a part of an black cotton soil baki ka entire peninsular india is made up of archean gneiss and schist which is rich in iron there will be weathering going on and therefore aage ja ke hum dekhenge ki ye jo soil hai this is red and yellow soil ye soil kyu black hai you know that because of basalt now you should know why this soil is reddish and yellow because of the oxidation process it is reddish and yellow because this is dominated by archean gneiss and schist so red and yellow soil in india is found in the regions where archean rocks dominate red soil in india is found in those regions where the archean rocks dominate hmm. ha chemical property change hoga na physical property bhi change hogi for example iron है वायर है सड़ने के बाद उसकी पाउडर बन जाती है चेंज इन द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑल्सो रस्टिंग जो सड़ जाना है दैट इज एन ऑक्सीडेशन हाइड्रेशन नाउ वी विल इंक्लूड हाइड्रेशन so hydration take down hydration is adding up of water is adding up of water hydration is adding up of water therefore rocks expand therefore rocks expand and and crack crack and crack full stop thus this is a chemical weathering thus this is a chemical weathering chemical weathering is drinking of water chemical spire rocks the minerals are drinking the water this is a chemical weathering which ultimately leads to breaking or physical weathering which ultimately leads to breaking of the rocks or the physical weathering
ultimately leads to breaking of the rocks or the physical weathering. See, now you can understand. Isme se kya important hai? Ye pura ka pura important. This. Isme se kya important hai? One and two. And third is the biotic weathering. So we have already written about the biotic weathering. Same as what is we have written is the biotic weather. Ek do factual part hai isme which I will include in the test. That is the jo factual information jo aapko yaad rakhni hai. That statement I will include in the test in the chemical biotic weathering. For example, desert varnishes are formed. The crust is formed. Ye sara is an example of an biotic weathering. Now with this, now you tell me what is the importance of the weathering? What is the significance of weathering? Soil formation. Uske baad, how? Increase in? How? Microorganisms are responsible for weathering. That is what we did. Now, addition of fertility to the soil is due to the addition of macronutrients. Calcium is added to the soil, iron is added to the soil. You all require this eight minerals in our body also. The same eight minerals are required in the soil. See, for example, exam ke samay aapko pot banana khane bolte. Why is it so? Because banana is rich in potassium. So, the same thing is needed for us. Potassium will give us energy. Similarly, aapko dehydration ke samay sodium that is namak khane bolte, namak ka pani pine bolte hai. Why? Because sodium will, is undergoes hydration, it will attract the water. So, if your body is suffering from dehydration, ORS, ORS means salt hota hai. So, why is that so? So, that it will preserve the water. The same thing will be done. Now, if the sodium is there in the soil, maybe it will preserve the water. If the calcium is there in the soil, it will be good for some crops. If the potassium is there in the soil, it is good for potato, but it is bad for wheat. It is bad for wheat. It is good for potato, it is bad for wheat, it is good for tea. This is North India, mein pehle gehu, uske baad alu, mixed cropping hai. Why is that mixed cropping? So that the potassium will be taken up by the potato and the NPK, baki ka jo hai, nitrous and the phosphates will be taken by the wheat. So all this, our entire lifestyle is based on what are the macronutrients and what the crops need. Any other thing? Sir, uh, is it necessary that erosion and weathering will always increase the fertility of soil? Not necessary. How water table will increase? Due to erosion and weathering, soil fertility may not increase. Due to floods, the soil fertility will increase. And the floods will result into death as well as erosion. Due to death, humus is added to the soil. Due to erosion, the soil becomes loose and jiske baad agriculture is possible. So, iska example is Khadar and Bhangar. Hum jab Indian geography karenge, Khadar is the old, is the new alluvium, alluvial soil. It is more fertile. Bhangar is the old alluvial soil, which is less fertile. Why it is new, new alluvial soil is more fertile? Because every year floods will add the alluvial deposits in this region.
I'm just making the points. Any other point? Just think, kya hoga due to weathering? Addition of minerals. Isse kya hoga addition of the minerals? Will it make mineral exploration more easier? Gold. Agar weather rocks, agar weather nahi hue, to the gold will not be present as a placer deposits. Then, to aaj bhi agar niche jaoge, to kisi bhi rock mein gold hoga. But hum wo rock nahi rakhenge because for mineral exploration it has to be commercially viable. Matlab ek minimum reserve hona chahiye. Rocks mein aaj bhi iron hai. To kya aap niche jaake iron aur mine khologe? Yahan pe iron hai rocks mein. So we will not. Why? Because the minimum possible is not there. Now what the weathering does? Ki it will break other minerals and only iron ka concentration will increase. And because the iron ka concentration ya gold ka concentration ya calcium rocks hai, so it will get dissolved due to carbonation. Fir pani mein mix hoke, it will be deposited at some other place and wahan pe sirf limestone deposits milenge. And then you can open a cement factory there. Are you understanding? What it does? It makes mineral exploration commercially viable. But you have not told me the most important thing is weathering will aid erosion as well as mass movement. If weathering is not there, there will not be erosion. Uh, only in some few cases there will be erosion. If weathering is not there, then landslides will not be And landslides is a major topic. If weathering is not there, then there will be no avalanches. So this is the significance of an weathering. Why there will be no avalanches? Let us come to the landslides first. You take down some of the important points in this. Now, when this means mein question aata hai aisa. Not necessary. Not necessary. But it will aid. Matlab, what I said ki hamesha possible nahi hai. There are some exceptions ki there will be landslides in, in, even in the case of not weathering. I have example bhi diya tha, nuclear bomb explosion. Ka. Yeah, dynamite. Ka. But in the rest of the weathering is necessary. So, Both are them are true. If this statement comes, weathering aids mass movement. True. Niche aata hai, weathering is not a necessary condition for mass movement. Yes. Both are true. A, aisa ek statement came in the Indian monsoon. Mein. In India, monsoon decreases from east to west. In India, monsoon decreases from west to east. Which of the following statements are true? Both are true. We will do that in Indian geography Q, both are true. So you take down first, we will start here, which is the most important point. Abhi examination mein, especially in general studies, try to make flow charts, try to make such diagrams. It will give Jo, jahan pe geography mein diagrams nahi possible, ya jahan pe even in polity, jahan pe diagrams nahi possible, you can add these things like flow chart. Ya disaster management mein hum ek flow chart banayenge, pre-disaster, during the disaster, post-disaster and cap capacity building, mitigation. So try to make such kind of a flow chart. You have to make the job easy for the examiner. So the first thing. Weathering, weathering, weathering causes, causes loosening of the rocks, loosening of the rocks, loosening of the rocks. This rocks, this rocks are then, this rocks are then easily carried by easily carried by different agents of erosion are easily carried by the different agents of erosion weathering weathering same point mein, weathering also causes Weathering also causes breaking of breaking of big
big mountains big mountains which during any trigger event which during any trigger event trigger event may cause may cause slope failure and mass movement and mass movement that is landslides slope failure matlab landslides which may cause slope failure and mass movement that is the landslides second soil formation weathering weathering breaks the top layer of the rocks breaks the top layer of the rocks and thus helps the soil formation thus helps the soil formation soil formation it also allows it also allows microorganisms microorganisms to live in the soil to live in the soil thus increasing the fertility of the soil thus increasing the fertility of the soil thus increasing the fertility of the soil full stop same point mein biotic factors biotic factors such as flora and fauna such and flora and fauna will enrich will enrich the soil will enrich the soil through factors such as through factors such as humification humification that is addition of humus mineralization mineralization addition of minerals i am connecting this two points it has nothing to do with addition of minerals we have written here okay next third factor the weathered materials the weathered materials weathered materials are deposited in different places are deposited in different places depending upon the type of a mineral depending upon the type of a mineral as well as the type of a weathering as well as type of a weathering type of a weathering example calcium carbonate from the rocks calcium carbonate from the rocks is dissolved is dissolved and deposited and deposited in high concentration in high concentration full stop this makes this makes mineral exploration commercially viable this makes mineral exploration commercially viable this makes the mineral exploration commercially viable second example 
due to the process of weathering and erosion due to the process of weathering and erosion sands in kerala sands in kerala are extremely rich in what thorium, thorium. sands in kerala are extremely rich in thorium kyunki thorium sirf sands mein kyun milta hai due to the breaking of the rocks of the western ghats jisme thorium hai and breaking of the coastal rocks ultimately all this is either brought by the rivers and deposited on the coast of the kerala yeah it is brought by the sea waves and deposited and then we have the india mein we have the largest thorium deposits in the monazite sands of kerala isliye hamara third stage of nuclear reactor is based on thorium next so you should remember this fact also that is the the sands in kerala are rich in thorium they are known as In, it is not rich in uranium it is rich in thorium and other rare earth minerals uranium india mein ek to jharkhand mein hai ya meghalaya mein hai can you tell me why it is in meghalaya you have already done that because meghalaya is an part of peninsular plateau so jo jharkhand mein mineral milega wo mineral meghalaya mein milega so will you find coal in meghalaya yes we find coal also in meghalaya next point essential micronutrients essential macronutrients not micro essential macronutrients such as potassium such as potassium comma iron iron comma calcium calcium magnesium magnesium are added to the soil are added to the soil this macronutrients this macronutrients then through the plants then through the plants macronutrients then through plants plants enter the food chain and gives us what nutrition you can stop there itself enter the food chain agar likhna hai to and thus gives us nutrition likh sakte ho have you understood this statement the macronutrients are added to the soil ek to fertility of the soil increase hoga but wo point maine repeat nahi kiya because we have written here secondly the plants through its root system will take up calcium potassium etc and this will be stored in the plants and then the plants will be eaten by the animals animals may be eaten by the human being so ye jitne bhi nutrients hai thus they get on they get transferred otherwise we human beings do not go and eat the soil आयरन की टैबलेट्स हम खाते हैं बट द बेस्ट वे ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द आयरन इज ईटिंग द बीट रूट वाई इज इट सो बिकॉज इट हैज मोर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ आयरन द बेस्ट वे ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द कैल्शियम इज ड्रिंकिंग मिल्क और ईटिंग एनी ऑफ द मटेरियल विच इज रिच इन कैल्शियम दैट इज मे बी बोन्स सो दिस इज वॉट आई मीन बाय द फूड चेन वॉट इज फूड चेन प्लांट्स विल बी ईटन बाय द एनिमल्स एनिमल्स विल बी ईटन बाय द बाय द सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स विल बी इटन बाय द टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स ह्यूमन्स नेसेसरी नहीं है ह्यूमन कैन बी अ प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर दैट इज देर आर सम पीपल हियर हु आर प्योरली वेज दे आर प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर ह्यूमन कैन बी अ सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर देर आर सम ऑफ द पीपल हु आर हियर ईटिंग नॉन वेज ऑल्सो सो यू आर अ सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर ऑल्सो एंड देर आर सम जो दिन के हिसाब से प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर बनते हैं दैट इज द गुरुवार है शुक्रवार है शनिवार है सो आज खा सकते आज नहीं खा सकते दैट इज द ह्यूमन बींग सो वी आर नॉट एन एग्जैक्टली अ पार्ट ऑफ फूड चेन कहाँ पे है 
डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वूम यू बिलीव डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच गॉड यू बिलीव डिपेंडिंग अपॉन एग्जाम नजदीक है या दूर है आपका प्रेफरेंस चेंज होता है सो यू कीप ऑन बिकमिंग प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर बट वी आर एन पार्ट ऑफ एन फूड चेन एनिमल्स आर एन पार्ट ऑफ एन फूड चेन एंड दिस इज हाउ द एडिशन ऑफ द मिनरल्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट is weathering weathering helps in breaking of the solid rock helps in breaking of the solid rock and thus increasing and thus increasing permeability of the rocks thus increasing permeability of the rocks thus increasing the permeability of the rocks rain water or the surface runoff see try to use this words rain water ek to normal ya yeah, surface runoff surface runoff means jo bhi water is which is flowing on the surface will enter through this cracks will enter through the cracks and thus help in and thus help in recharge of ground water thus help in recharge of ground water does help in recharge of an ground water now suppose if this was the rock which was non permeable but due to physical weathering block disintegration hua in the big scale ab jo bhi pani hai it will go below and after going below it will be ground water yahi ho raha hai indian cities mein concretization bahut zyada hai and therefore there is no artificial recharge of a ground water isliye ground water level is going down and you see what britishers did before they came the, when they came to india when was connaught place developed 1925 and this luton's delhi was developed it started in 1911 khatam hua 1935 ke aas pass and even in that era you see anywhere in the luton's delhi bahut zyada green areas hai raste hai concrete but usse double green area hai why is it so it is so because ye humne ye word use kiya hai these are riparian buffer ki जब देर इज एन हेवी रेनफॉल रास्ता यहाँ पे जो होता है पटेल चौक पे यहाँ पे पटेल नगर के गोल चक्कर पे फिर थोड़ी भी बारिश ब्लॉक ट्रैफिक जाम या जो गुड़गांव में होता है थोड़ी भी बारिश ट्रैफिक जाम वाई इज इट हैपनिंग बिकॉज वी हैव रिड्यूस द आर्टिफिशियल रिचार्ज ऑफ अ ग्राउंड वाटर ब्रिटिशर्स न्यू दिस देर इज अ हैवी रेनफॉल सो दे हैड क्रिएटेड गार्डन्स एंड बाय क्रिएटिंग द गार्डन्स or the lawns there is a natural recharge of an ground water that is the rather than that water flowing on the road and destroying the road and causing traffic jams it goes and recharges the ground water and you should know also this thing when the rain water goes down through the soil there is a natural purification of a water why because the ground is rich in minerals and thus jo bhi impurities hai they are taken by the minerals for example aajkal जो आता है एडवर्टीजमेंट कोल एनरिच या कार्बन एनरिच फेस वॉश सोप एक्सेट्रा ग्राउंड में नेचुरल कार्बन है इसलिए इफ यू अलाउ द नेचुरल रिचार्ज ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर थ्रू रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग देर वाटर विल गेट प्योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस दिस इज वॉट इज डन हैज बिन डन बाय द ब्रिटिशर्स टू द इंडिया दैट इज दिस इज द पॉजिटिव थिंग अबाउट द ब्रिटिशर्स रायपेर एंड बफर हमने क्या किया हमने जब ब्लू लाइन मेट्रो स्टेशन बनाया तो कनॉट प्लेस के सेंटर में जो गार्डन था उसको नीचे से कंक्रीट करके राजीव चौक मेट्रो स्टेशन बना दिया हैव यू सीन दैट अब देर इज अ सेंट्रल पार्क मेड बाय ब्रिटिशर्स व्हाई बिकॉज द सीपी इज अ सेंट्रल बिजनेस डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड इसलिए तब दिल्ली में कभी पानी का प्रॉब्लम नहीं था वेन आई केम टू दिल्ली इन टू वी यूज टू डिरेक्टली ड्रिंक द टैप वॉटर तब यह कंसेप्ट नहीं था दिल्ली में that is of an ro or aqua guard etc directly tap water of delhi was very very good but over the period of time too much concretization destruction of wetlands 
that are an example of wetlands and thus the groundwater has gone below. When the groundwater goes below, it now starts reacting with the rocks and the minerals become more in concentration and therefore salinity increases and this is what is happening to Delhi. The salinity is going to increase and then we require RO U, that is UV filter etc. So, this is what I meant by loosening the permeability. Now, whenever you write the answer, try to connect this. So, what you show to the examiner ki aapko sirf subject nahi pata, aapko concept in real life bhi pata and that is going to fetch you more marks. Fine with this? Bookish knowledge will not fetch you that high marks, but if you can apply this. Significance is importance. Importance can be negative, importance can be positive also. So, in the terms of speed, we are going to study slow, medium and fast or very fast or instant movements. So, when we study any of the slow movements, we will call creep. And this can be soil creep, this can be rock creep, this can be land creep. But more importantly, what is important is the soil creep. When we study the medium flow ka movements, we will call them as flow. That is soil flow or mud flow, but I will take the best word that is the mud flow. Soil se zada, what is more important is the mud flow. In the terms of instant movement, they can be fall or slide. Example is rock fall or land slide. So, this mass movements are further divided on the basis of roll of water. So, classification of mass movement is on the basis of speed, we will call them as creep, flow, fall. On the basis of roll of water, now tell me, will there be any roll of water in the creep? Soil is creeping at a very slow speed, you will understand over the period of time, the water has no roll. You will see that here the water has maximum roll because it is fully saturated with water. Fully saturated with water means? Isme pura pani bhara hua hai. That is, it is fully saturated with water. You should understand by the word flow only, ki anything can flow if it is fully saturated with water, otherwise, it will not flow. And pe water has minimal role, that is, water acts as. lubricating agent. So, can I say no role, maximum role and only the water will be having the lubricating agent. In the terms of risk associated, this has no risk this has risk, that is high risk. And this has maximum risk. Okay. 
if the landslide is occurring in the des in the regions of glaciers we will call this as avalanches So, Indian geography, jab hum padenge to, I will ask you to do NCRT, because that NCRT is good. So, I will cover a topic and aapko ghar pe jaake bolunga ki NCRT ke chapters pad le. So, us mein western ghats mein diya hai, mud avalanches are common. So, do not get confused between avalanche and a mud avalanche. So, avalanche is associated with glacier when the glacial comes down with great speed. Ab NCRT kehta hai ki that similar thing, yaha pe instead of glacier or snow, what is coming down is mud. So, they have used the word mud avalanches. Par agar kal question aata hai, avalanches are common in Himalayas and Western Ghats. So, answer will be only Himalayas, not Western Ghats. Because mud avalanche nahi puchha hai. Kya puchha hai exam mein? Avalanche. And avalanche matlab only when snow comes down or the glacier comes down. That is what is known as an avalanche. So, this is what is that land, obviously what is important from us is the so land slide. What is least importance is the soil creep. So, we will start with this, remember this chart whenever you are confused, fine with this. So, you can take down very slow, very slow movement of weathered rock material, very slow movement of weathered rock material, very slow movement of weathered rock material down the slope, down the slope. under the influence of gravity, under the influence of gravity, under the influence of gravity is known as soil creep, is known as soil creep. Is known as soil creep. Next point, soil creep soil creep occurs on kya steep ya moderate slopes what it will occur soil steep slope ya moderate slope moderate steep pe to fast a jayega so it occurs on moderate moderate to gentle slopes moderate to gentle slopes Next point, it is so slow, it is so slow that it cannot be noticed by human eyes, that it cannot be noticed by human eyes, that it cannot be noticed by human eyes, but, but the process is seen, but the process is seen, process is seen, S E E N seen due to bending of poles in the hilly regions, due to the bending of poles in the hilly regions, or the collection of, or the collection of regolith or weathered materials, collection of regolith or weathered materials 
behind the walls behind the walls behind the walls next point soil creep occurs soil creep occurs when due to due to grazing of the animals due to grazing of the animals comma movement of movement of animals as well as people movement of animals as well as people which causes which causes breaking of which causes breaking of individual rocks which crosses causes breaking of individual rocks next point water has no role or plays a minimal role water has no role or plays a minimal role in the soil creep water has no role or plays minimal role in the soil creep next point in soil creep in soil creep individual weathered particles or soil particles individual weathered particles or the soil particles move over each other weathered particles or the soil particles move over each other and also over the underlying rocks over the underlying rocks iska matlab ye hai that due to walking of the animals ye jo soil particles hai this will be thrown in opposite direction if you stomp here jitna bhi soil particles hai it will be thrown in the other parts now because of the gentle slope this soil particle will keep on jumping from one particle to over the other particle and ultimately the entire soil will start coming down if there is a rock here the soil particle may also move over the individual rock or underneath the individual rock but finally uska direction will keep on coming down so what do we see in the hilly regions agar aisa pole plant kiya hai so over the year of time pole will not remain straight red color shows the ideal direction of the pole but the pole will start bending why the pole will start bending because the soil is moving downwards or if there is a wall there will be collection of the soil behind the wall so this is an example of an soil creep so you can take down this diagram red color ka banane ki zarurat nahi this was just to tell you how the ideal position of the pole should be but how the pole becomes over the period of time understood differential displacement kyu ho raha hai to kyu kyu wo soil creep ke karan hi ho raha hai soil creep is the responsible so upar ka soil ja raha hai aur niche ka soil waisa hi reh raha hai so wohi to ho raha hai idhar no it is so slow it takes generations when does the soil creep occurs even it occurs now if you step your foot put your foot on the soil soil particles will be thrown in other uh, directions because there is no water there is if there is water let us complete the diagram then we will see what this there will be if there is a water
मेक द डायग्राम इन द क्लास घर पे जाके कुछ होता नहीं है घर पे जाके अगर आप सोचोगे बहुत क्लीन डायग्राम बनाओगे तो स्पेस रखना वहां पे फिर जब टाइम मिलेगा तब क्लीन डायग्राम बना लेना बट ट्राई टू मेक द डायग्राम इन द क्लास जो कल करे सो आज जो आज करे सो अब अदरवाइज ये घर पे जाके कभी होगा नहीं और कभी प्रैक्टिस नहीं होगा वॉट विल हैपन वंस यू गो होम विल स्टार्ट रीडिंग हिंदू सो जाओगे थोड़ा <laughs> बात दिन खत्म सो मेक एवरी थिंग इन द क्लास टिल्टिंग ऑफ द पोल्स नॉट बेंडिंग टिल्टिंग ऑफ द पोल्स नॉट बेंडिंग कैन आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल इट बी डेंजरस ऑयल क्रीप नो नॉट एट ऑल कब नीचे आएगी विल सी दिस So the second is flow, and what can flow is the either the soil can flow or the mud can flow, and we will call this as solifluxion. Fluxion is flow, and soil is solifluxion. Now, what will happen in this? If in case if there is a very heavy rainfall, when there is a very heavy rainfall, the upper part it will get fully saturated with water. And now because it becomes fully saturated with water, saturated with water मतलब ये पानी भर जाएगा, कीचड़ बन जाएगा यहाँ पे। So when it becomes fully saturated with water, now the soil will behave like water. And when the soil behaves like water, ये नीचे की तरफ आएगा। And it will start flowing with the great speed, and it will take everything down which comes in its path, and thus it will start becoming a natural disaster. So when it is not saturated with water, soil creep. When it is completely saturated with water, then it is soil flow or mud flow. So, what was Uttarakhand tragedy? Uttarakhand tragedy rather than landslide, हम कहते हैं उसको landslide, but technically what it was? It was a mud flow. It was a mud flow. That is, there was so heavy rainfall, and due to breaking of the rocks, the Rocks now were big, were so loose they started flowing like water. Rocks were floating in the water and it destroyed everything that comes in the path. Due to rain, rainfall, temperature increased. Kal greenhouse effect jo maine bataya tha and therefore the ice also started melting. And because the ice started melting, in, there was a quick rainfall and there was a quick rise in the level of water and ultimately sub leke gaya. So this is what is an mud flow. Though we call it as a landslide, it is actually a mud flow. Uska ek reason hai artificial construction of roads. Uska ek reason hai overloading of the slopes. Uska ek reason hai that is that year was a La Nina year like this year. Even this year is there is a La Nina year. Even that year there was a strong La Nina year. So generally Uttarakhand mein Mumbai mein barish aati hai, Kerala mein barish aati hai on 1st of June, Mumbai mein on 10th of June and in Uttarakhand it reaches on 13th to 15th of July. So by 30th of June that yatra is finished but that year was a La Nina year and we could not predict the monsoon. Mumbai, the Kerala it arrived on 1st of June, Mumbai it arrived on 3rd of June and it covered entire India on 7th of June and thus Uttarakhand had a very very high rainfall from 7th of June. Obviously, disaster management was not in place and when the disaster management was not in place, it resulted into collapse of a system. So that is an example of an soil flow. Overloading we will see in the landslides. What do you mean by overloading of the, we will do that in the landslides. So soil flow, this occurs, this occurs when the weathered material or the soil, this occurs when the weathered material or the soil is fully saturated with water, is fully saturated with water. As it becomes fully saturated with water, as it becomes fully saturated with water, as it becomes fully saturated with water, 
individual soil particles start behaving like water, individual soil particles start behaving like water, start behaving like water and flow rapidly downwards and flow rapidly downwards. and flow rapidly downwards like a liquid like a liquid destroying destroying everything that comes in the path destroying everything that comes in the path next soil flow is common in uttarakhand Soil flow is common in Uttarakhand due to due to heavy rainfall, due to heavy rainfall. Soil flow is also common in Western Himalayas. In Western Himalayas, comma tundra regions tundra regions due to due to what due to melting of snow due to melting of snow due to melting of snow in the volcanic regions is a prelims ke liye third point in the volcanic regions there is a mixture of mud flow and lava there is a mixture of mud flow and lava which is known as Lahar, which is known as Lahar. Lahar, a very common example you will see over the period of time. Jab aap documentaries usab dekhoge. Let's see, main iska photo agar time mila to dikha tunga. This is a unique phenomena jahan pani bhi hai aur aag bhi hai. Pani kyu hai? Soil flow. Aag kyu hai? Because of lava and it is flowing together downwards. Now you know why? Because in the volcanic regions after lava there will be heavy rainfall and thus it will start flowing downwards. Again only for prelims. Soil flow or mud flow. It is the same thing. Soil flow or mud flow in UK and Ireland. is known as bog burst is known as bog burst in UK and Ireland is known as bog burst why we are UK and Ireland kai kar rahe? because in Ireland this region yahan pe dal dal bohat common hai what is you known as an quicksand and this quicksand over the period of time after heavy rainfall starts flowing downwards and when it starts flowing downwards, jo bhi iske path mein aaya, wo, it will eat up. Whether it is human being, whether it is animals, etc., and we'll call them as bog burst. It is soil flow. Lahir is volcano, volcanic regions. Ye normal soil flow. Hai. Anticline and syncline, V-shaped valley. There is a water which is flowing. That is, this is a river which is flowing. Now, this river basically is an which river? Superimposed yeah, antecedent. Antecedent. This antecedent river will have high erosive power. 
सो जब रिवर इज फ्लोइंग इरोजन भी हो रहा है बट यू शुड ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट यहाँ पे वेदरिंग भी हो रही है बिकॉज इट इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट कॉन्स्टेंट टच विद द विद द स्टोन दिस वॉटर इज इन कॉन्स्टेंटली टचिंग द स्टोन हियर नाउ वी ह्यूमन बींग्स वॉट वी डू यहाँ पे कहीं तो बाय बर्स्टिंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायनामाइट हम बना देते हैं रेलवे या रोड Now, as soon as it bursts with the dynamite, क्या होगा? There will be formation of cracks. Now, suppose this is how the cracks are formed. Maybe, and after the bursting of the cracks, the cracks form हुआ, the prophetic pro process, everything goes on, and sometimes, दस साल में एक बार there is a very very heavy rainfall. And when there is a heavy rainfall, if this is how the crack is, water will go through the cracks. and this is how maybe the direction of the flow of water is water is going through the cracks when the water is going through the cracks there will be lubrication and when there is a lubrication so you don't know what has happened earlier you are passing through the vehicle here or the train is going and this entire path comes down instantly what we call this as a landslide ye pura ka pura path has come down why it has come down बिकॉज ल्यूब्रिकेटिंग एक्शन ऑफ वॉटर वाई इंस्टेंट कोई वार्निंग नहीं है ट्रक इज पासिंग व्हीकल इज पासिंग एंड अल्टीमेटली एनी वेयर इट कैन कम डाउन ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी अर्थक्वेक ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी रेनफॉल ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी फ्लैश फ्लड ऊपर कहीं तो ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी मेल्टिंग ऑफ वॉलकैनोस ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी पावर हॉर्न ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म कैन बी अ फास्ट कार और फास्ट हैवी लोडेड ट्रक विच कॉज एस वाइब्रेशन जब जब आप ब्रिज पे खड़े होते हो और इफ योर इफ योर हाउस इज नियर द रोड साइड एंड हैवी ट्रक गोज देर इज अ वाइब्रेशन सो सिमिलरली देर कैन बी अ वाइब्रेशन हियर देर कैन बी ब्रेकिंग डाउन दिस इज वन फिनोमिना नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट इज द अदर फिनोमिना दिस इज अ सिटी विच कम्स अप maybe it's a old city something now it has become an important tourist destination and because it has become important tourist destination illegal hotels come up in this area they will start blasting with the dynamites and yahan pe kahi to hotels will start coming up upar picnic spot and hotels they will start doing mining activities etc but what we rea don't realize ki niche se because this is a youthful river this river is going to cut the slope this is how the river ka life is going to progress we have not done this topic but over the period of time yahan pe weathering and erosion hoga ultimately hum in such kind of slopes the weathering and erosion ka impact will be there if we keep it to the natural surrounding but what we are doing we are increasing upar se pressure and this is overloading of the slopes by hotels by construction industry by mining activities by tourist spots but niche se river is going to do undercutting when the river is going to do undercutting ultimately there will be a point jab ye aise lagega it is hanging why because normally tootta nahi hai but now it will break because there is artificial loading of the slopes and when there is an artificial loading of the slopes maybe if it it can be a village it can be a city it can be anything it all will come down instantly example uttarakhand uttarakhand was a perfect example of this overloading of the slopes and undercutting by the river bhagirathi river is a huge river there bhagirathi river is violent river over there so it was undercutting the slopes here but we were overloading the slopes tourist destination isse pehle दो दे वर नो होटल्स अलाउड इन केदारनाथ रीजन अ पर्सन यूज टू गो टू केदारनाथ एंड दे यूज टू कम बैक दे नेवर यूज टू स्टे फॉर अ नाइट इन केदारनाथ रीजन बट अब कमर्शियल बन गया टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री एंड देयर फॉर होटल्स केम अप इन द केदारनाथ रीजन रोड्स बी केम पहले कौन जाता था बद्रीनाथ केदारनाथ द पीपल हु आर इन द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ देयर लाइफ दैट इज इवन इफ दे डोंट कम बैक तो ज्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा दे यूज टू गो टू बद्रीनाथ एंड केदारनाथ दिस वॉज ट्रू they used to go into himalayas they used to go into amarnath he last may that this is there in every religion but now picnic ke liye log jaane lag gaye kedarnath and badrinath obviously there will be picnic ke liye when you go for the this kind of tourism 
दोनों टूरिज्म है एक है टेंपल टूरिज्म एक है रिक्रिएशनल टूरिज्म नाउ व्हेन यू गो फॉर रिक्रिएशनल टूरिज्म यू वांट फैसिलिटीज एंड व्हेन यू वांट फैसिलिटीज द होटल इंडस्ट्री एक्सेट्रा कम्स अप इट कम्स अप बाय मे बी ड्रेनेज सिस्टम प्रॉपर नहीं है मे बी कुछ यहाँ पे नहीं है अल्टीमेटली वेन द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम एक्सेट्रा इज नॉट प्रॉपर नीचे से देर विल बी सीपेज इन द रॉक्स यू नो आपके घर के ऊपर के फ्लोर पे अगर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम प्रॉपर नहीं है तो घर की छत स्टार्ट सीपिंग द सेम थिंग हैपन्स इन द माउंटन्स ऑल्सो इफ द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इज नॉट नॉट प्रॉपर इफ इट इज ब्लॉक्ड द माउंटन स्टार्ट गेटिंग सीप एंड अल्टीमेटली वाटर विल ट्रिगर अ लैंड स्लाइड घर में भी अगर उस छत प्रॉपर रिपेयर नहीं की तो छत गिर जाएगी सिमिलरली यहाँ ऑल्सो देर विल बी लैंड स्लाइड सो दिस इज द सेकेंड मैकेनिज्म फॉर द लैंड स्लाइड एक तो एक तो द ओवरलोडिंग ऑफ द स्लोप्स ब्लास्टिंग बाय द डायनामाइट्स रोड्स रेलवेज एक्सेट्रा देर दिस कैन बी अंडर कटिंग बाय द रिवर्स और ओवरलोडिंग ऑफ द स्लोप्स I have just told you two reasons of the landslides. You tell me the further reasons for the landslides, but first, take us the take the definition of an landslides. Very rapid, very rapid, or instantaneous movement, or instantaneous movement. instantaneous movement of large mass of a rock of large mass of a rock which usually occurs on steep slopes which usually occurs on the steep slopes which usually occurs on the steep slopes is known as landslide or rock fall is known as landslide or rock fall full stop this line is very important rain water rain water rain water just acts as a lubricating agent just acts as a lubricating agent just acts as an lubricating agent just acts as an lubricating agent normal rainfall mein bhi hoga heavy rainfall mein western ghats cloud burst mein aur zyada trigger and kyu trigger hoga kyunki humne rocks ko weak kar diya due to human intervention next point when when an impermeable rock when an impermeable rock such as clay when an impermeable rock such as clay lies above lies below lies below the permeable rock lies below the permeable rock lies below the permeable rock water may seep through the permeable rock water may seep s e e p or pass through the permeable rock and collect in the clay and collect in clay and collect in the clay this will make the clay moist this will make the clay moist resulting into collapse of a clay resulting into collapse of clay resulting into collapse of clay and ultimately and ultimately 
collapse of an landform and ultimately collapse of an landform. Such process, such process is known as slumping. In Hindi, zameen dhas jana. In English, it is slumping. Such process is known as slumping. Did you understand from the words what does it mean? Clay is impermeable. We have seen this. Because it is impermeable, it will not allow the water to pass. And you know that clay may agar water is there, it will become moist. Because it has become moist, niche se wo toot jayega. And jayse wo tootega, upar ka rocks bhi toot jayenge. And this is what is known as an slumping. To understand this, practical application is Delhi itself. You, why high rises are not allowed in Delhi? Because Delhi may niche there is clay rather than the hard rock and therefore high rises are not allowed in Delhi. Abhi RI because now we have understood the technology. So next time when you see to go to any construction site in Delhi, johan bade malls ya big towers are being built. आप देखना कि वहां से जमीन में से पाइप्स ऊपर आते रहेंगे ब्लैक कलर का एंड दे आर ओपन पाइप्स व्हाट इज दैट एक साल के लिए वैसा रखा जाएगा दैट एरिया दे विल टेक डीप इनटू द ग्राउंड दे विल पुट अ पाइप देयर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट पाइप एयर विल गो एंड इट विल ड्राई अप द क्ले वंस द क्ले बिकम्स ड्राई इट इज वेरी हार्ड रॉक वेन इट बिकम्स मॉइस्ट देन ओनली इट इज एन सॉफ्ट रॉक सो वंस द क्ले ड्राइज अप देन दे विल स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग द प्रोसेस so otherwise if you directly start building the entire building may collapse can i rub this diagram causes of landslide you tell me what are the causes of landslides i'm just putting dam someone said dam next point deforestation why deforestation that is it will cause more of an soil erosion any other Why is landslides are common in Himalayas? Mining, someone said. Why it is common in Himalayas? Earthquakes. Earthquakes, if you write it, volcanoes. Why there is a Landslide common in Western Ghats, heavy rainfall. Can I say in the high regions global warming? ये अभी नहीं लिखना है, conclusion में लिखना है, and therefore fast melting of glaciers. Causing what? Avalanches. Any other thing? Why? What causes landslides? Over region means over grazing. Any other construction of what? Roads, rails.
undercutting by river any other cause of landslide nuclear explosion tell me the causes very fast yes are you are right you already know the causes sirf hame answer proper present karna hai so i am taking the causes from you or mining commercialization of what can i say shifting cultivation slash and burn agriculture why because it will result into deforestation can i say soil erosion ultimately will result into landslide wala activities so you can see from the answer we have we have points we have generated agar aata hai ab ye sari cheeze ho rahi hai on the flat slope to landslide hoga and if it is on the steep slope then obviously so what should be the first point nature of a slope steep slope landslides if there are gentle slopes so no landslides will there be landslide in delhi no there will be no landslide in delhi but there can be a landslide in <coughs> uttarakhand because of the steep slopes so whenever you write an answer on the landslide see you got some of the natural reasons and some of the human made reasons so try to divide the answer in the natural and human reasons natural reasons may go to geomorphology plate tectonics earthquakes and volcanoes tectonic activities natural reasons may talk about the rainfall very heavy rainfall natural reasons may talk about the undercutting by the rivers that is river changing unka direction and the erosion by the rivers natural reasons may you can talk about the melting of the glaciers resulting into avalanches naturally be melting hogi glacier ki and resulting into avalanches then come to anthropogenic reasons and anthropogenic reasons mein ye sara activities overgrazing etc all these things so take down the answer for the causes of landslides i will give you only in the terms of points and then we will discuss one question you tell me which first we'll take the causes of the landslides natural causes natural causes tectonic activities such as earthquakes and volcanoes first tectonic activities such as earthquakes and volcanoes tectonic activities such as earthquakes and volcanoes second heavy rainfall heavy rainfall and cloud burst and cloud burst lightning how lightning will result into landslide heavy rainfall is heavy rainfall may there will be lightning thunder etc cloud burst may aayega because cloud burst will occur only if there is cumulonimbus cloud and cumulonimbus cloud is the only cloud which is responsible for lightning and thunder so wo likhna bahut ye hoga ki due to lightning there will be booming boom sound and because of the boom or sonic sound there will be <laughs> landslides wo bahut galat ho gaya means rather than that you can use that words some extra points here वैसे इट इज ट्रू बट लिखने की जरूरत नहीं इतना कॉमन सेंस वो एग्जामिनर को भी होगा दैट इज लाइटनिंग एंड थंडर नेक्स्ट यूथफुल नेचर ऑफ द रिवर यूथफुल नेचर ऑफ द रिवर्स विच कॉजेस विच कॉजेस इरोजन ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म्स विच कॉजेस इरोजन ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म्स कॉमा 
undercutting of the slopes undercutting of the slopes undercutting of the slopes next point steep slopes steep slopes steep slopes tsunami will cause landslide or landslide will cause tsunami if the landslide is occurring on the below the water then it will cause tsunami and if tsunami comes and strikes the coastal region then it will cause it may cause landslide so next point high and strong waves high and strong waves sea waves such as tsunami wave such as tsunami wave such as tsunami wave comma storm surge storm surge storm surge storm surge in the coastal regions in the coastal regions next point avalanches avalanches are caused due to melting of snow during summer season avalanches are caused due to melting of snow during the summer season during the melting of the snow during the summer season next point anthropogenic causes or human causes or artificial causes anthropogenic causes or human causes first during summers that is right so first soil erosion soil erosion due to due to illegal soil mining illegal soil mining comma stone mining stone mining that is you should remember illegal mining activities india mein coal bhi jo mine hota hai how it is done how it used to be done suppose this is a rock this entire rock is there which is extremely rich in coal ye hai coal deposits in india and this is a city or a village which has come on the coal deposit in india a uh, illegal mining will start from here and they will ta start taking the coal and after taking the coal they will build a tunnel which is illegal below this and yahan se pura coal nikal denge so when the coal is there removed kya hai this houses are now floating you can say ultimately this area will slump ye this was even done in jharkhand chatisgarh even by the coal india limited before government made it compulsory ki once you do the coal mining then you should fill up with the artificial sand otherwise during heavy rainfall water will seep and when the water will seep this will slump so illegal mining activities you remember second destabilization of the slopes destabilization of the slopes destabilization of the slopes due to road and rail construction activities due to road and rail construction activity destabilization of the slopes due to road and rail construction activities road and rail construction activities next blasting of dynamites nuclear bomb explosion blasting of dynamites nuclear bomb explosion as well as vibration caused by as well as vibration caused by
power horns vibrations caused by power horns supersonic jets supersonic jets and then you can mention his point thunders supersonic jets and thunders ab isme se kya likhna hai exam mein that will depend on what the question is next एंथ्रोपोजेनिक कॉज नहीं होगा बट उस पॉइंट में लिख दिया हमने ठंडर इसलिए मैंने बोला लिखना है तो लिखो ठंडर अदरवाइज नहीं शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन सुपरसोनिक बूम द सोनिक बूम विच इज क्रिएटेड बाय सुपरसोनिक जेट्स अगर लैंड इज ऑलरेडी डिस्टेबिलाइज हिमालय के ऊपर वाई देर इज नो फ्लाई जोन इन मेनी स्टेट्स बिकॉज अगर उसके ऊपर से सुपरसोनिक जेट गोज इट रिजल्ट इन टू लैंड स्लाइड डाउन सोनिक बूम कहते हैं उसको नेक्स्ट शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन वॉट इज द अदर नेम फॉर शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन स्लैश एंड बर्न एग्रीकल्चर झूमिंग इज उसका नेम इन इंडिया इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्लैश एंड बर्न एग्रीकल्चर दिस विल कॉज डिफॉरेस्टेशन दिस विल कॉज डिफॉरेस्टेशन and thus slope instability understood why deforestation there will be no trees and thus the during the heavy rainfall the slope will become instable and slope slope instability kya hoga due to deforestation what will increase soil erosion and ultimately soil erosion ke baad it will result into landslides next is overloading of the slopes overloading of the slopes overloading of the slopes due to due to construction of big dams construction of big dams comma illegal construction illegal construction activities on the hill slopes on the hill slopes on the hill slopes next illegal sand mining along the rivers illegal sand mining along the rivers which causes deepening of river channels which causes deepening of river channels and thus increase in the erosive power of a river and thus increase in the erosive power of a river thus increase in the erosive power of a river now here point tabhi samajh mein aayega if you know how illegal sand mining is being done and exam mein itna hi likhna hai how illegal sand mining is being done रिवर्स में सैंड इज नॉट इनफाइनाइट सैंड ऑलरेडी खत्म हो चुकी है रिवर्स की देर फोर द गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टॉप सैंड माइनिंग इन लीगल सैंड माइनिंग दे टेक आर डी एक्स आर डी एक्स यू रिमेंबर इज इजिली अवेलेबल इन इंडिया जहां जहां माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज है ऐसा नहीं है कि टेररिज्म ही पाकिस्तानी इंडिया में आर डी एक्स लाता है आर डी एक्स इज द इजिली अवेलेबल या दे विल टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ एंड डायनामाइट फिल इट इन द पेट्रोलियम बॉटल और फिल इट इन द बॉटल एंड थ्रो दैट एट द बॉटम ऑफ अ रिवर when they throw at the bottom of a river they will burn this and it will cause a blast because of blasting ye jo river ka rock hai it will due to blasting it will be broken and due to broke, breaking there will be artificial deepening uske baad there is a suction pump which is taken and from this suction pump all the with heavy force river ka pani bahar nikala jata hai and there is a filter which is kept on which the water is thrown the filter is so tiny uska nets ki sirf sand nikal jati hai and rock ruk jata hai fir se pani river mein choda jata hai but what is taken out is rocks construction 
activity and sand again construction activity. So, this is but what they are doing is they are artificially deepening. So, ye mature ya old age ki river hai, now they have caused deepening of the river and because of the deepening of the river, river starts more undercutting by the slopes and because of undercutting, fir ye jo gaon ka rasta ho sab hai, wo niche aja. So, this is the biggest challenge in India. Remember, especially in central India, especially in the western ghats. Why? Because Bombay or Mangalore or jitne bhi ye cities in western ghats, there is a construction boom hai abhi. Or Delhi, construction boom hai abhi. So, where is sand coming from? It is through illegal sand mining activities. And therefore, you will commonly hear that the road has been built during the rains. Why is this so? This is so because even after the development, even after the construction activity, because we are illegally undercutting, illegal sand mining activity. So, and this is a big mafia. You must be hearing the news that IS officer, IPS was killed because he faced the sand mining mafia. IS was transferred because he could not face. IS ko dhamki mil gai over the period of time. So, because it is a multi crore industry, the sand mining industry. So, this is what is the sand mining. So, understood why it, what it does? It causes artificial undercutting by the river. So, increase right there. Thus, with the increase in the erosive power, thus with the increase in the erosive power, same point, Thus, with the increase in the erosive power, the river artificially starts deepening its channel. The river artificially starts deepening its channel. Artificially starts deepening its channel, which promotes slumping of the surrounding land which promotes slumping of the surrounding land. Slumping of the surrounding land. Next point, overgrazing. Next point, overgrazing. Overgrazing, overgrazing promotes soil erosion promotes soil erosion which may trigger over grazing promotes soil erosion which may trigger landslides or mud flow which may trigger landslides or mud flow <coughs> trigger landslides of mud flow last point in the recent years in the recent years Himalayan states, Himalayan states as well as Nepal, as well as Nepal is facing the increasing risk of avalanche, is facing the increasing risk of avalanche due to, due to due to faster melting of the glaciers associated with global warming due to accelerated melting of the glaciers associated with global warming. Have we written nature of the slope associated with global warming?
Is it looking like India's map? So the landslide prone regions of India, which are the landslide prone regions of India? So can I say this entire region? See, there are, if you look at the map of India, there will be numerous reasons for landslides. We have to focus on high-risk zone. So, Amar Kantak Plateau ka bhi ye chota part is responsible for landslides. Eastern Ghats may be a little bit of region hai which is responsible for landslides. But if a question comes in the exam, mein, this is more than enough. Because the rest of the places, we don't have to write it. But still, if you want, I will give you the low-risk zone of a landslide. Chota Nagpur Plateau, Amar Kantak Plateau region and some parts of the Eastern Ghats. Loris Now you tell me the reasons. There are two reasons for landslide and the question I am giving you is this. You have to just give the definition. for landslides or landslide prone region if in Himalayas and Western Ghats. So can I say a question aapko pooch raha hai, what is a landslide and it is asking you recent account, recent account matlab explanation ke saath you they have to give the reasons for the landslides in the Himalayas and Western Ghats. So, how will be the answer, ka structure? Definition of a mass movement, wo table jo maine dikhaya tha, mass movement ka. Now, you can make that table very interesting, creep, flow, 
slide and you can write here increases explanation dene ki zarurat nahi hai because iske liye answers ke liye words kam padne wale you have to see the demand of the question and dekhna hai ki isme itna zyada likhna hai that kam pad sakta hai so don't waste time in telling this ek bar bata diya by the with the help of diagram ki what is going to increase creep and slow slow flow and slide now you tell me how you are going to write this answer जो हमने लिखा है जो हमने लिखा है वो आंसर खत्म सी यू कैन परफेक्टली राइट रीजन फॉर लैंडस्लाइड इन द हिमालय एंड द रीजन फॉर लैंडस्लाइड इन द वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स अलग अलग पॉइंट में वाई प्लेट टेक्टोनिक्स टेक्टोनिक एक्टिविटी लेट इज कम टू द फर्स्ट नेचुरल कॉज इन दिस वॉट वॉज आवर फर्स्ट नेचुरल कॉज जिसमें हमने कॉजेस लिखा है Does it apply to Western Ghats? No, it applies only to Himalayas. Second natural cause, heavy rainfall. Does it apply? Yes. yes. कहाँ पे apply होता है? Western Ghats and Eastern Himalayas. Does it apply to the Western Himalayas? No. no. It does not apply to the Western Himalayas except Uttarakhand. बाकी के जगह वो apply नहीं होता. यहाँ पे क्या apply होता है? Avalanches. यहाँ पे heavy rainfall. Why entire northeast is more prone to landslides? Because yeah. here, Great Himalayas, here, Naga Hills, Manipur Hills, etc., and here, Peninsular Plateau, Garo Khasi, Jaintia. So, what is the third point? Youth slope, steep slopes. Does it apply to Western Ghats and the Himalayas? Yes, but specifically, western side of Western Ghats and southern side of the Himalayas. What is the fourth point? स्टीप स्लोप मैंने स्टीप स्लोप बता दिया अब अंडर कटिंग बाय द रिवर्स यूथफुल रिवर्स का एक पॉइंट होगा डज इट अप्लाई टू वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स इट अप्लाइज ओनली टू हिमालय इट अप्लाइज ओनली टू द हिमालय यूथफुल नेचर ऑफ द रिवर्स इट अप्लाइज ओनली टू हिमालय वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स में इतना ज्यादा नहीं गोदावरी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेप्ट फॉर त्रेम्बकेश्वर इट इज नॉट एट ऑल यूथफुल कृष्णा इट इज नॉट यूथफुल कावेरी इट इज नॉट यूथफुल एक्सेप्ट फॉर उसका ओरिजिन का पॉइंट so it does not apply to that agar aapko western ghats mein likhna hai then you will have to specifically mention west flowing rivers of western ghats himalaya ki sari rivers are youthful western ghats mein only west flowing rivers of the himalaya uh, of the western ghats what is the next point high and strong sea waves high and strong sea waves does it apply to himalayas no it applies only to the western coast western ghats but can can we skip this point for india yes, yes. so you know you should know what to skip also causes to maine common diye so you should know ki ye point india ke liye itna apply nahi hota high sea waves kabhi aise dekha hai that high sea waves are coming and hitting the western ghats nahi 16 kilometers to 6 kilometers ka difference hai between western ghats and the coast it is very narrow up it is wide here in kerala it is very very nar narrow up here so that point does not apply to western ghats next point avalanches. avalanches can you write here specifically only in jammu kashmir himachal pradesh yes. and in arunachal pradesh yes arunachal pradesh mein bhi hoga but aapko yahan pe specify karna hoga but since this regions of india are uninhabited they are not habited therefore the loss of life is not great एवलांच कब आता है न्यूज में कभी ऐसे नहीं सुना कि कश्मीर वैली में पीपल हैव डाइड बिकॉज ऑफ एवलांच क्या आता है सियाचिन ग्लेशियर में सोल्जर्स हैव बीन किल्ड ड्यू टू एवलांचेस बट इट डज नॉट कम कि द पीपल हैव डाइड इन द कश्मीर वैली ड्यू टू एवलांच बिकॉज वी डू नॉट स्टे द इंडिया डज नॉट हैव पॉपुलेटेड रीजन इन द एवलांचेस फाइन विद दिस मर्ड एवलांचेस सॉइल इरोजन सॉइल इरोजन में यू मैंशन तो उसको नेक्स्ट पॉइंट में डालो फिनिश योर आंसर विद द नेचुरल रीजंस। कमिंग टू द आर्टिफिशियल रीजंस। व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट आर्टिफिशियल रीजन सॉइल इरोजन कॉमन है सब जगह सेकंड, 
illegal destabilization of the slopes ab isme aap you can say this is there because of economic high economic development along the eastern ghats along the western ghats and this is triggered by konkan railway as well as national highway ab dhundo national highway kaun sa hai yahan pe kaun sa hai national highway i asked you to find out वहां पे 15 है यहाँ पे कौन सा है एन एच सिक्स इज हियर एन एच सेवन एन एच फाइव एन एच सेवन ड्यू टू एन एच सेवन एंड कोंकन रेलवे सच इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज आर इंक्रीजिंग फिर एक आप वन पॉइंट यू हैव मिस्ड इज हेवी रेनफॉल अलॉन्ग द वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल बिकॉज द फर्स्ट शावर ऑफ मॉनसून विल स्ट्राइक द वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स देन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट न्यूक्लियर एक्सप्लोजन लिखने की जरूरत नहीं ये कंक्लूजन में एक बार लिख सकते हो कि सच दिस थिंग ब्लास्टिंग ऑफ डायनामाइट्स यस यू कैन नाउ मेंशन द प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सच एज फोर लेनिंग ऑफ द हाईवेज और मेकिंग हाईवेज और मेकिंग टनल्स टू कनेक्ट टू द इनएक्सेबल रीजन विल इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ लैंड स्लाइड्स इन द नियर फ्यूचर इन द स्टेट्स ऑफ उत्तराखंड एक्सेट्रा वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट shifting cultivation does it apply to entire india or only north east it will apply only to the north east so shifting cultivation only to the north east fine with this what is the next point iska kabhi question bhi nahi aayega isliye maine ye mark bhi nahi kiya because yahan ke landslides ek 10 saal mein 12 saal mein ek bar and the death is 1% 2% 3% so that does not count in india as a natural disaster so next point overloading, overloading of the slopes ab isko aap dono point himalayas mein bhi dal sakte ho yeah you can put this in the even in the western ghats that is due to increasing tourism activities hill stations there is an greater overloading of the slopes next point इलीगल सैंड माइनिंग कहां पे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है वेस्टर्न घाट्स में या हिमालयाज में इट इज बिगर प्रॉब्लम इन द वेस्टर्न घाट्स फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज सो ये क्वेश्चन मत लिखना आई एम गिविंग यू एन होम असाइनमेंट इज so what is the identification of the landslide prone regions of india one western ghats two western himalayas three eastern himalayas four purvanchal himalayas and don't keep word limit generate points jitna aap generate kar sakte ho so forget this is like an 
not an question answer, this is like an we are making the points or the notes. So, jitne zyada points you can generate, generate and bring this to the next class. That is this answer, then we will discuss what should be an ideal answer in 200 words. And what you have to focus, you have to focus between differentiation of the landslides in the Himalayas and the Western Ghats. So, usme ye mat karna ki column banaya, Himalayas, Western Ghats, tectonic, no tectonic activity. Rainfall, comparative, aisa nahi, ek Himalayas ka ek reason properly, and uske baad western ghats ka ek reason properly and try to find out agar if you have any case studies on this and even if you google landslides in india aapko case studies mil jayengi answer mein sara kaam nahi aayega but this will enrich your answer over the period of time so we'll meet next thursday so tomorrow we are having only current affairs 230 230